Countdown to Economic Collapse. This is Countdown to Economic Collapse, July 8th, 2012. I'm David John Sponheim for America's Third Party, running for president. I want to welcome all of you to our new format. We're going to be doing very casual discussions with people about things, the news, and we're going to talk about these in a kind of a free-flowing way. What I'm going to start with is we're going to go to the desktop and actually check out the news. Hello. Welcome to your desktop. I am your living example of what a president should be. A person who responds to you, the American people. When you're facing an economic hardship, the government should be there for you to get a low interest loan, something as low as 2%. You should be able to get a hand up to learn a trade, to maybe develop skills that will give you a living wage. You should have that opportunity, but right now you don't. Right now, Barack Obama has become a bad dream. Speaking of bad dreams, think about this. Mr. Anderson, it's the stench, Mr. Anderson. It's like a zoo. It's uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, a bad dream, Mr. Anderson. Every night, Blog TV has a show where we talk to the American people from six to eight. That's right. We talk to you about the problems that are affecting all of us in America. So please join us and contribute and come up with ideas to save this nation from some of the really terrible things that are happening to it. As you can see, Obama is pushing for a one-year extension of Bush tax cuts for the middle class. But he will continue to fight for the cuts to expire on January 1st for people earning more than $250,000. Well, that's interesting considering Barack Obama is facing huge budgetary crises because he's overspending by $1.6 trillion a year we're not going to see any money coming from the middle class, according to him, which is fine with me, actually. Ernest Borgnine died at age 95. Sad testimony to him. We all remember Ernest Borgnine. He appeared recently on YouTube. To the show, show, but real quickly, you're 91 years old. You look fantastic. You look like you're in your late 60s, early 70s. What's the secret? I don't dare tell you. <laughs> No meat. You don't eat meat. I masturbate a lot. Okay, I think. <laughs> okay, here is the global economy data in Asia signal drop in global demand. The federal officials eye a QE3. Okay, the S&P 500 buy ratings are at a all-time high as valuations offset falling profits. The same security analysts warning of the first decline in quarterly earnings since 2009 are also more bullish than ever on U.S. stocks. And then China inflation is easing to 29-month low in June. You're going to need a life raft. And we're going to have to throw you a life raft in order to save your personal economy. Because while they make money, making money on your money, or maybe just making money on their money, which they do all the time, you're going to be out there in the middle of the ocean with nothing to hold on to. You're going to need a toolkit, a survival guide, to get you through some of the tough economic times. I believe that you would like a better green screen, but I cannot deliver that right now. I, unfortunately, am prone to give you what you want to hear. Much like Barack Obama, I'm here to tell you that we're going to cut the taxes for the middle class and the lower middle class. We're going to do everything we can to make our country stronger economically just like Mitt Romney is promising you. But we're going to do it differently. We're going to ask you to start thinking about what is better for you. Conflict or working out solutions. Because the two-party system is coming up with nothing but conflict. We're seeing fighting between the left and the right all the time in Congress. Now, if you expect the next president to change that, you're going to have to get somebody who's completely out of a different realm, a centrist realm, right in the middle of the political spectrum, where I can agree with both sides of the aisle and then find common agreement in certain areas that would be both fiscally conservative and socially liberal. So we can also 
forge solutions that will be fiscally responsible for our country and provide long-term sustainable alternatives to the taxation system we have today. We support this nation. We do not want our nation invaded by illegal aliens that are just coming in over the border getting green cards right now. A million per year. That's what's going out. We don't need that. What we want is our country to learn to deal with its own budgeting problems by helping its own citizens. We have a Pay Americans First program where American citizens are paid first for Social Security benefits, welfare, food stamps, as opposed to illegal aliens or non-U.S. citizens that are that are currently costing this nation billions of dollars. ATP, you and me.